So, I don't know, I want to um, bring up a really great, wonderful activist, and also an actor. I don't know if you guys have heard of the show MASH, but he was on that for 13 years. He brought much joy and uh, entertainment into our home, so thank you. But mostly, thank you for your consistent activism and for being here. So, I'd like to introduce to you Mike Carroll. Thank you for being here. Thank you for standing up. We're, if we're, uh, you know, we're in danger of losing this country we love. If we're going to save it, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, Cory Booker, U.S. Senator from New Jersey. Uh, Cory said uh, that, uh, I hope I can read this better than I can see it. He said that, uh, oh, thank you. he said that too many of our countrymen and women uh, mistake wealth for worth and celebrity for significance. Donald Trump thrives on that misunderstanding. He built a life, a career, based on it. Along with many renowned psychiatrists, I believe Donald Trump is deeply mentally ill. I believe he's trapped in what the eminent psychologist Eric Fromm called malignant narcissistic personality disorder. It's not that he won't admit to having lost the last election. It's that he cannot admit it. As with many cult leaders out of history, Jim Jones, David Koresh, David Koresh L. Ron Hubbard, Adolf, Adolf Hitler, and Paul Pot, he cares about no one or nothing but himself, deluded about and committed to his own magnificence, he is easily used by those who compliment him, then use him to further their own agendas about shithole countries and people of color, about misogyny and abortion, about immigration and the death penalty, about fearing Muslims and gay and trans people. Fascists who marched in Charlottesville, Virginia, chanting, Jews will not replace us, are very fine people to him. What do you Racists are very fine people. The fact that so many Americans defy logic and refuse to see the, the obvious makes me concerned that mental illness is contagious because they follow him while he is enthralled by thugs and thieves and, uh, and, and others. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm trying. Thugs and thieves and Nazis and haters. The, uh, the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers and their ilk, some of whom are probably here with us today, checking out the enemy. If they're here, they're welcome. Maybe something they hear will wake them up. If you saw 60 Minutes on Sunday, you know about the Ritchie boys, Jewish men, sons of those lost in the Holocaust. They were instrumental in defeating the Nazis in the Third Reich. After the war, the Ritchie boys set about a process they called denazification. Today, part of our job is a new version of what they did. Think of it as de de Trumpification. Yeah. 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 Give him one more hand. Give him a hand. Give him a hand.